So the shipping operation for the Carbon Warum really focuses on three threads. Uh, the first is focused on energy efficiency benchmarking and information. We've had a long-standing uh, arrangement and partnership with AP Miller Maersk, by far the biggest commercial shipping company in the world. Um, and as part of that, um, they help us develop a website called shippingefficiency.org. It was the first website that's published energy efficiency data on carbon emissions uh, across the majority of the world's ocean-going fleet. And uh, we've, what we've done is we've taken that information and just applied a very simple EU-style fridge rating of A to G to each ship. So anyone can go in there, ports, shippers, charters, and so on, and assess the efficiency of a particular vessel benchmark against a similar size vessel. The second is to try and uh, engage with demand side pools, so shippers on the retail side, such as Walmart, Target, those kind of big companies. Uh, oil majors uh, and then big cargo charters such as Cargill and Rio Tinto. So they can start using this information and from there we hope and anticipate that the, the, the information will start to have an impact on the market. From there, clean ships will have a better value than dirty ships. We're starting to see positive signs that shipping banks who have always invested in ships based on their size, their deadweight tonnage, their age and so on, these traditional measures are starting to factor in energy efficiency. So clean tech market develops, capital starts to flow, which is really the third piece of what we're trying to achieve. We focus on clean technology. Policy is there and for us what policy can do is raise the x-axis. So it just means more technology has a shorter payback and, and is, 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 is essentially a better ROI. And I think you know, largely what Carbon Warum is able to achieve is raise the profile of shipping and the issues of carbon in shipping beyond the traditional stakeholders.